How's it going, everyone? Uh, today, I'm going to be bringing you my collection update, complete collection update for um, the month of February in the year 2019. Uh, I'm saying the year just because if people are watching this in 2020, I want y'all to know it's 2019 when I'm recording this. Um, but yeah, um, I do this every month at the end of the month. Um, it is March 4th uh, as of now because it's 1 a.m. when I'm recording this and uploading it. Um, so I'm three days late, but yeah. Um, you know, there was only two weeks in February, so it might seem a little soon to be doing a collection update since I just did my January one in, for two weeks ago. But, yeah, there's only two weeks in February, or a couple of weeks. But, anyways, um, let's just dive right in. Uh, like always, I am going to start with the video games that I picked up, which there's only one. And then I'm going to do the, unbo uh, the video unboxings that I have up on the channel, which there's only two. And, like always, or not always, but this go-around, I do have... A couple of digital codes to give away um, so stay tuned I'm going to be giving those out periodically throughout the video um, you're not going to want to miss any of those um, so yeah um, let's just get started uh, first up we have Far Cry New Dawn uh, on PS4 this came out this month uh, if you've been on my channel or you're watching this obviously on my channel I have been live streaming this um, I am almost done with the story I think one more part, uh, so part five, I want to say, and I'll be done with this whole game. I've been playing it with my brother, uh, so it's a lot of fun over there. You know, great content. Go over and watch it. It's real funny um, in certain parts. Really good story. And, yeah, uh, be on the lookout for when I go live because you can come join, say what's up, you know, talk, hang out, stuff like that. But, yeah, that's Far Cry New Dawn. Definitely worth the pickup if you like the Far Cry series. Uh, and it was only 40 bucks, so that's not bad for a game. But, yeah, Far Cry New Dawn. Uh, next up, we have The Girl in the Spider Web on Blu-ray, uh, Spider's Web. Um, this is the first movie that I picked up this month. I have still yet to watch it. Uh, there's actually a good bit of movies I haven't watched because I've just been working a shit ton of hours lately um, and haven't really had time to watch a lot of movies. I've been trying. But yeah, uh, Girl in the Spider Web. You know, I know people were saying this is the best thriller that came out last year. Definitely going to be getting around to this one soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, Girl in Spire was right there on Blu-ray. Um, let's see, next up, we have, and I have unbox an unboxing of that if you want to see all the stuff that came, like what the disc and stuff like that looks like. Um, also, right here, I got the 4K Best Buy exclusive still book for Robin Hood, the new one with Taron Egerton and Jamie Foxx. Uh, I saw this one in theaters. I thought it was okay. I know a lot of people shit on it. Um... I haven't got a chance to revisit it because I do want to see if like they ch like if I like it more the second go around um, and if they fix some of the stuff that I have problems with maybe in a director's cut that maybe it's on this. Uh, but either way, you know, I thought this one was, was, was okay. It was well acted. Jamie Foxx and Taron Egerton has really good uh, chemistry together. Um, and yeah, uh, probably not worth the thirty bucks that I spent on this deal book, but. Regardless, I got it. Um, it's a really nice still book, actually. So, yeah, that's Robin here, here on 4K in the still book. Um, sorry, I, it's late. And um, if I'm, like, jumbling up my words, I, I just got done recording Walking Dead, uh, my new latest episode, uh, for the review of episode 12 of season 9. So, I'm uploading that currently right now while I'm recording this. So, you know, go check that one out if you haven't. If you're a Walking Dead fan, or if you just want to know what my thoughts were on the movie. Um, but yeah, uh, next up, we have two of my favorite movies. Uh, definitely my favorite anime movies, and I did see the third one in theaters, and I will be picking it up. And that is, uh, first up, we have How Train Dragon. This is the 4K Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook. I uh, really, really love this artwork. I think that this is great. Uh, I've always loved this picture, uh, the poster. And then on the back, you get Hiccup right there in Toothless. And then there's the Spine. And on the inside, you just get really a picture of the scenery of the cliff. Um, really nice. Uh, it looks great on 4K. I really did love these movies. Um, definitely worth picking up if you find it. Uh, and this is actually cheaper at Best Buy than the standard 4Ks that they released in January. I don't know why that is, but yeah. Uh, How Chain Dragon here on 4K still book. And, of course, if I got the first one, then I had to get the second one. And this is How Chain Dragon 2 on 4K Steelbook. Uh, to me, this is even better than the first one. And the third one is fucking amazing. Um, if you haven't seen How Chain Dragon 3, go check it out. It's a great conclusion to the trilogy. Uh, 
yeah, uh, definitely going to be picking up this still book that they have for How to Train Your Dragon 3 when it comes out. And I'm probably going to get the standard copy because I have a standard copies of 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. Um, and I'll probably get the standard copy of the 4K um, for my collection too. But yeah, I uh, really love this artwork too. Really nice. Um, oh shit, there's a ding in that. I did not realize that when I first got it. Uh, and then on the back you get this with Hiccup and the Fire Sword uh, and Toothless. Really nice artwork. And on the inside, you get a picture of Burke. Um, so, yeah, really nice artwork. Uh, I feel like the artwork could have been a little bit better than just the scenery, but the outside artwork is outstanding to me. So, yeah, How Shane Dragon 2 here on 4K Steelbook, exclusive to Best Buy. Um, next up is a movie that I did want to see in theaters. I have yet to get a chance to watch it. Um, but, yeah, and that is uh, The Front Runner here with Hugh Jackman. My dad watched it. He said it was all right. Um... So, yeah, definitely going to be checking this one out soon. I love Hugh Jackman, and I love political movies and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's uh, the front runner here on uh, Blu-ray with Hugh Jackman. Next, we have another movie that people said was really good that I've yet to watch, uh, and that is At Eternity's Gate uh, with uh, William Dafoe and Oscar Isaac. Uh, I actually never heard of this one until I saw it on Blu-ray.com, uh, and then I, you know, heard Cool Dooter talk about it, and I want to say Wet Movie 1 was talking about it, too. I know Cool Dooter, cool Dooter where it was, um, and he really enjoyed it, so I picked it up. Uh, hopefully, it's good. I really love William Dafoe and Oscar Isaac, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Um, but yeah, that's uh, A Eternity Skates here on Blu-ray. Um, next up, I got two movies that, one movie that I definitely wanted to watch, and I got for a while now on blu-ray and uh i did watch this one that is a uh, disobedience here with rachel wise and rachel mcadams uh i really did enjoy this film it's a great drama i watched this and uh boy race back to back uh well not back to back almost back to back um around the same time and um i really enjoyed both of these both of them are different storylines uh, i love the whole fact of the jewish you know community and the way that these two you know how they love each other didn't per necessarily love the ending because they i'm not gonna spoil it uh but if you watch it you'll see uh, but yeah a uh, really great movie uh really well acted great story um yeah definitely check this one out if you you know like slow dramas about romance and you know forbidden love and stuff like that uh, but that's Disobedience here on four, uh, Blu-ray, not 4K. Uh, next up is another movie that, I, you know, I finally found it with Slipcover. I didn't get it when it first came out, and that is uh, I, Tanya, uh, with Margot Robbie and Sebastian Stan. Um, I have yet to watch this one. I missed it in theaters. I've missed it a couple times when it was, you know, it. I know it's on Hulu. I just haven't got I, Every time I see it, I'm, like, not in the mood to watch it. But, yeah, I uh, picked it up for 10 bucks at Best Buy. Uh, found it as with well, a slip cover and everything so yeah i tell you let me know if this one is as good as people say it is or is it just overhyped um but yeah let me know but that's i tell you here i mean i love margot robbie so you know i had to get it uh next up is a movie that everyone fucking loved in theaters and that is uh bohemian rap city here on 4k uh really well movie well done movie really well acted um you know the storyline's really good uh, i learned a lot about queen that i didn't know um but to me it was a little disappointing as the fact of everyone was saying it's the best movie it's the best movie and i'm not the biggest queen fan to begin with i like some of those songs um i used to like them a lot more when i was younger and i just got tired of them but um but of course they have a lot of really good songs and they just they just they play it a lot on the radio so you get kind of worn out on them but, um, yeah, um, I did like this movie. I didn't hate it. Um, I just, on s the way that they edited the movie together, I feel like I would have liked more of uh, certain scenes than some of the other ones and, like, focused more on this part of his life instead of this one. And, like, the scene where, and I'm going to get a little spoiler here, so if you haven't seen the movie, you know, it's a biopic, so everything's kind of well-known. But when he fires his manager, you know, and that whole deal goes down. Then two scenes later, he's like, I'm going solo. But he fired his manager just because they offered him, said, you know, asked him if he wanted to go solo. But then two scenes later, he's breaking up the band to go solo. It was a little off-putting to me. Um, just the way, little things like that and the way that they edited it together, you know, it was just 
weird to me. Uh, not bad movie. Really well done. I did really enjoy this one, and I definitely will be watching it again. Um, I just, I don't think it's as good as people said it is. You know, go into it, you know, knowing that's a well-acted movie, really well-shot film, just, I don't know, I just, for me, I would have wanted to see more of, like, him towards the end of his career, you know, going down that downward spiral a little bit more, um, and just little things like that. It's just little nitpicky things that have problems with this movie, but, yeah, that's Bohemian Rhapsody here on 4K. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Even if you're not a big Queen fan, I feel like everyone can enjoy the movie. Uh, and it's really, really well acted. Uh, like, I can't stress this enough. Uh, next, we got two movies that are on Blu-ray, but they're only at Walmart. They're Walmart exclusives. And first up here, and I grew up with both of these. And first up here, we have uh, Shark Tales. Um, I remember really liking this movie as a kid. Uh, I don't really remember. I remember the opening scene of them dancing at the car wash, but... Other than that, I don't really remember this movie. I haven't revisited it in a while. Um, but, yeah, um, $10 at Walmart is the only place you can get the Blu-ray of it. Um, so, yeah, that's Shark Tales. Shark Tale, not Tales. <laughs> my bad. And one of my favorite DreamWorks movies, other than How Train Dragon, Madagascar, and Shrek, uh, is always was up there uh, when I was growing up. And that is uh, Over the Hedge here on Blu-ray, also at Walmart, exclusively for $9.99. Uh, I remember really, really enjoying this, and I have watched this one uh, a couple years ago. Uh, I revisited it. Uh, really do enjoy this one. It's still a really fun time. Um, but yeah, uh, glad that I finally got to the Blu-ray release, because yeah, I've always wanted to watch it on Blu-ray. That's Over the Hedge here on Blu-ray. Um, so go to Walmart and pick them up. Uh, but since I just showed those, I'm going to give away my first digital copy, and that is for Over the Hedge. Um, so... Yeah, um, there's the code. Hopefully, you guys can read it. Um, so, yeah, um, like always, when I give away codes, I always say, um, you know, comment down below, let people know if you got the code. Uh, don't be a dick and just let people keep trying and trying and trying, you know, do it. Uh, let people know that you got it. And try not to take all the codes if you don't have any of these, you know. But, yeah, um, over the hedge right here. Um, digital copy, yeah, just redeem it, and let me know that you redeemed it, um, but next up is one of my favorite movies, if you haven't seen, of 2018, if you haven't watched my top 10 list, this came in at, like, number 7, I want to say, 8 or 7, um, and I was, like, keep moving it up and down, up and down, up and down, uh, go check out my top 10 worst, best and worst movies of 2018, if you haven't, but that is, uh, A Star is Born Here on 4K with the Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook, uh, and see, if Bohemian Rhapsody and this didn't come out in the same year, I might have, you know, thought that Bohemian was probably the best musical of the year. But this came out also around the same time. And I fucking love this movie. This movie, to me, is 100%, like, probably a perfect movie. Um, so, yeah, I had to pick it up on the Best Buy still book. I haven't revisited it um, since theaters, but... It's definitely on my list to get around to and rewatch because I really do want to. Uh, and I also haven't watched the Oscars, but I know there was something about Lady Gaga proposing to Bradley Cooper. Uh, I need to look into that. But yeah, uh, Star is Born, still book, 4K, exclusive Best Buy. You got the front, the spine, and then inside you get nice artwork of Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper with the backdrop of LA. Uh, really nice artwork. I know that's the back of the normal case too, but. Yeah, Star is Born on 4K still book. Next up is a movie that I did want to see in theaters that I didn't get a chance to. I've yet to watch it because it just technically came in the mail um, not too long ago because I had to order offline. Because it was one of those at Best Buy's ships only. And that is uh, The Sisters Brothers um, with John C. Riley, Joaquin Phoenix, Joaquin Phoenix, and Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, really wanted to check this one out. Me and my brother both wanted to go see this one, but we just we never could find the time to go see it. Um, hopefully it's good. Let me know if it's good. Um, I like westerns, so, yeah, uh, The Sisters Brothers. And I love Jake Gyllenhaal and John C. Riley and Walking Phoenix, so hopefully I can't go wrong here. But that's The Sisters Brothers, now on Blu-ray. Um, next is a movie that I did get to see in theaters, and that is, uh, Overlord here on 4K. Um, I actually really did enjoy this one. I thought that this was a fun action uh, sci-fi, like war sci-fi film with a twist on it. I really did enjoy this one. Uh, well acted, well decent acted, uh, 
the action sequences are great. The characters are kind of, you know, write-offs, and certain characters are kind of write-offs, and you don't really care. That's the biggest part of it. But if you like action uh, sci-fi, like war sci-fi movies dealing with Nazis and stuff like that, and you're more than likely going to enjoy this one. But that's Overlord here on 4K. I haven't revisited really this, but I hope that looks good on 4K. Um, and, like, you get this kind of bland slipcover artwork for the 4K because the 4K and the Blu-ray artwork on the cover and slipcover are different. Um, so, yeah, I uh, kind of would prefer the Blu-ray one artwork to be on the 4K, but you know what? It's all good. But, yeah, that's Overlord. Which, I mean, I do like the way that it's blood. It looks like blood, but it's actually the paratroopers uh, parachuting down in the from the opening scene. But yeah, Overlord, Overlord here on 4K. It's worth a watch. Uh, if you want to watch it, I'd red box it. Um, not necessarily go out and buy, pay 30 bucks for it, but like rent it on BOD or rent it from Redbox and watch it and see if you like it. Um, but yeah, um, we're getting close to the end of the first stack, um, which are the most recent movies that I picked up, but I'm going to give away another digital copy, and since I gave away the Over the Hedge um, digital copy, I'm going to give away the Shark Tale digital, co digital copy. Uh, like I said, just let people know down in the comments that you got it, don't be a dick. Um, and yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and if you haven't watched these movies, definitely, you know, redeem them and watch them. But that Shark Tale's here. Um, I'm going to show it one more time, hopefully closer so y'all can see it. Alright, uh, next up is a movie that I grew up with, I don't really remember, it had been years and years and years, like, the last time I probably watched it was on VHS, uh, when I was younger, and that is, uh, The Little Mermaid here on 4K, um, I rewatched this one, I really do enjoy this one, I remember just about everything from this movie, uh, just rewatching it, it just all came back to me. Uh, it looks great here on 4K. Not as good as Lion King, but it does look really damn good here on 4K. Um, and yeah, it, it just brought back my childhood. And so, yeah, that's The Little Mermaid here on 4K. Definitely worth picking up. If you're a fan of Disney and Little Mermaid, definitely pick up the 4K if you have the 4K format, because it's definitely worth watching. That's Little Mermaid here. Um... Next is a classic that I had on Blu-ray that I got from the pawn shop, and I just decided to upgrade it finally, and that is uh, Gladiator here on 4K. Um, I've only watched this movie once or twice. Um, haven't watched it a whole lot, but I really did enjoy this movie. Uh, Russell Crowe and Ridley Scott does a great job together. Even their Robin Hood movie. I like their Robin Hood movie that they did. Um, I just like Ridley Scott's direction and stuff, except for so much Hannibal. But maybe I'll talk more about that when Hannibal comes out on 4K in April. Uh, but yeah, uh, really well movie. Hopefully it looks good in 4K. And hopefully they fix like the sound dubbing. Because that was my biggest problem with the Blu-ray. And the, part of the reason why I wanted to upgrade it was because the Blu-ray format and like the audio, like it was hard to hear everything. Like I had the TV up to like 80 and was still struggling to hear just the way that they were talking and the way that the audio was dubbed. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully they fix that one in this. Let me know down in the comments if they actually did fix that. But anyways, this is Gladiator here on 4K. Um, yeah, really well movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Which, I mean, since they did Braveheart and Gladiator, I'm just waiting for them to put 300 out on 4K. Hopefully they do soon. Um, but next up, um, and the last new release movie that I picked up, um, because the rest are the pawn shops and two TV seasons. But next up is uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet here on 4K. Uh, I love Wreck-It Ralph. That's one. Of, that's probably my favorite Disney movie uh, in a long time. Um, and Ralph Break the, Breaks the Internet is a perfect sequel to it. Um, I loved every minute of this. I saw it in theaters. I uh, haven't rewatched it on 4K. But yeah, a really done, well done movie. I love the way that they ended this. Hopefully they don't make a third one. I don't think they should. But knowing Disney, they probably will. But yeah, uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet is out on 4K uh, and Blu-ray and stuff like that. A lot of different exclusives. Like I know Target had a Digi book. I know Best Buy had a still book. I just went with the standard 4K. When it comes to Disney movies, I typically just go with the standard just because I'm not real big into like getting certain Disney movies and still books because I don't have the other ones in still books and stuff like that. But yeah, Ralph Breaks the Internet. You know, if you like Wreck-It Ralph, definitely check this one out. It's a really good sequel. Um... And then for the two TV shows that I got, 
uh, first up here because they were on sale, which is rare. Um, I got Game of Thrones, the complete fourth season, and the packaging that I like, the slip and like the digi book box type deal. Um, really love the. I love this show. This is my favorite show of all time. I know in December I got season seven, uh, and I own season one and six already, so I'm just filling in the void. Uh, but yeah, uh, Game of Thrones, the fourth season. Love this season. This actually has one of my favorite moments from the whole series. It actually is my favorite moment from the whole series, and that's uh, Tyrion's trial uh, with his dad when he gets on the stand and he starts telling them off. I love that scene. I love it to death. And so, yeah, had to pick up the fourth season. I have to get, you know, the rest of the seasons too. But Game of Thrones, the fourth season, for twenty two ninety nine, you can't go wrong there at all. Um, and, of course, since I got the sec fourth season, I also picked up the fifth season. Um, really love this artwork. I love the way that they did this and how it like looks like a book, um, kind of. I love how they all look like a book, but this one really looks like a book cover to me. Uh, I love that. I love the way that they package these, these new pack, the old packaging. I don't really like the like little sleeve and like the standard MRA case, uh, which is why I'm looking for these. So. Yeah, uh, Game of Thrones fifth season, also really, all these seasons are good. If you haven't watched Game of Thrones, definitely check it out. Uh, I am going to be reviewing season eight when it starts airing. Uh, I can't wait for that. I think that's going to be, I hope that they end it well. Um, maybe I'll do a podcast leading up to it, if y'all want, uh, talking about the whole, how I think it's going to end, stuff like that. But yeah, fifth season, also twenty two ninety nine. Now I just have to get season two and three, which three, they have the packaging I want at Walmart, and I'm going to pick it up this coming up paycheck because it's twenty four ninety nine, and then I just have to find season 2 in this the standard uh, packaging. But yeah, uh, that's Game of Thrones Season 5, and these are two of the digital copies that I am going to be giving away is for the 4th and 5th season. Uh, so, I might give those away over on Instagram and get people to message me, or I might just, you know, show them off here. I haven't decided yet, but the next one, the one before uh, the Game of Thrones seasons I give away, um, is a digital copy for Overlord. So, there's that. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to redeem this and watch it because you haven't seen it, then this is another way you can do it. Uh, like always, and I'm going to keep saying it, you know, don't be a dick. Just let people know down in the comments that you got it. Because it's not cool to let people try to keep doing this, um, giving these away. And trying them, but yeah, that's Overlord here on digital copy. Hopefully, you guys can see that. If you can't, then message me on Instagram, and I'll send you a picture of it. Um, but yeah, there's Overlord. And now we're gonna get into the pawn shop pickups. So I found a bunch of old movies at the pawn shop that I did not own or I have not seen, or both. It's mainly both, but. Yeah, um, first up is a movie that was one of my first raunchy comedies I ever saw. I saw it on HBO, I want to say, and I wasn't allowed to watch it at the time, but I did anyways. And that is uh, Fired Up. Um, I really like this movie. A lot of people don't even know what this movie is, but I really like this one. I remember every scene from it, uh, from the theatrical edition, and I rewatched it, and I watched the unrated edition, and... Yeah, I I mean, I love this movie. I think that this is a really well-done raunchy comedy. And, yeah, that's fired up. If you haven't seen any you like raunchy comedies, definitely check this one out. It's great. Um, and it's got a good bit of people in it that, you know, are now kind of famous that, you know, you wouldn't think would be in that movie. Uh, but I think it slid by a lot of people's radars or people just forgot about it. But, yeah, that's fired up. Um, next up is, and I'm sure I might get some shit for this, but... I like these movies. I definitely like the first one, and I like the third one because I have watched the third one, but I've never seen this one, and that is uh, Step Up 2 to the Streets. Um, I don't know. I like Step Up movies. I don't know why. I just do, um, and I haven't seen the second one. The first one was great. Um, the third one, what I remember of it, is really good. That was the first one that I actually did watch, so yeah, I'm looking forward to watching the second one, but that's Step Up 2 to the Streets um, on Blu-ray. Next is surprisingly a movie I haven't seen. I hadn't seen, but I have seen it now, and that is uh, Thirty Minutes or Less. I think I had seen this on like FX, and like I was watching it, and I was like, "This is stupid" because they cut a lot of shit out. But yeah, um, I'm surprised it took me this long to watch it. But you know, Jesse Eisenberg, Dan McBride, Aziz Ansari. I love all three of these, and it's from the director of Zombieland. So of course, you know, 
I wanted to watch it. That right there sold me on it. But yeah, a uh, really funny movie. I really did enjoy this one. It's stupid, but I enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, that's 30 Minutes or Less here on Blu-ray. Uh, next is a movie that I've always wanted to watch, um, especially since I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, and that is uh, The Woman in Black here on Blu-ray. Uh, I wish I could have found it with the slipcover, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, I uh, haven't got a chance to watch this one yet, but I hear really good things. I hear the sequel is shit, but I know that this people really did enjoy this one, so... Yeah, definitely looking forward to checking this one out, but that's The Woman in Black here on Blu-ray. And another movie that a lot of people talk about, like, praise, and I think I watched it before I really got into films, and probably I didn't understand it, uh, and I didn't really care for it, but I'm hoping to like it the second go around, because I've gotten more into movies and these type of movies and stuff like that, and that is uh, Looper. Um, I probably watched this when I was 13, maybe. I think it, it, it was out when I was 13, I want to say. And that's when I watched it. I watched it whenever it first came out before I got into movies, like I said. So, you know, don't hate on me. I haven't rewatched it, but, you know, I am going to rewatch it. And I'm hoping that I really do enjoy it this time. But that's Leaper here on Blu ray. Um, next is a classic, and I haven't seen it, but, you know, I wanted to pick this one up in stores when they first brought these out, like Untouchables and the. Uh, Godfathers and stuff like that with those slipcovers, but none of the stores got this movie, and I just never ordered it offline. But that is a uh, Road to Perdition. Um, people say it's a really well done movie. There's Tom Hanks and Jude Law, and so you know, it's, you know, it's gonna be well acted. Um, but yeah, definitely looking forward to checking this one out finally. Um, and please don't hate on me for not seeing some of these classics. I mean, I just there's a lot of classics to watch, and so. Yeah, um, another movie I haven't seen, but I finally own it, so I'm going to watch it, and that is uh, Rudy here. Um, I love the guy that plays uh, Sam from, you know, The Lord of the Rings, so not a big football person, so that's probably part of the reason why I kind of stayed away from this, because I'm I'm not big into, like, sports movies or sports. Uh, some sports movies are okay, but a lot of times they're just cheesy to me, uh, but I hear this one is not cheesy and really, really fucking good, so... Yeah, had to pick it up for $1.50. Um, so that's Rudy here. Um, next is a movie that I have seen, and that is uh, Tropic Thunder on Blu-ray. And this is the director's cut also, so I am looking forward to watching the director's cut. I have seen this a couple times. I'm not a big Ben Stiller fan, but I love Jack Black. I love uh, Robert Downey Jr. in this movie, and Danny McBride. So, yeah, uh, for $1.50, definitely had to jump up on this one. But that's Tropic Thunder. Um, another movie that I remember when it first came out, and I didn't watch it, but... I like Michael Douglas and I think Jeremy Irvine. I think I know who that is, but that is uh, Beyond the Reach. Um, yeah, uh, it sounds interesting. Hopefully it is interesting. Uh, let me know down in the comments if this one's good. Uh, but it was all fifty, so I was like, I'm going to pick it up anyways. Um, but yeah, that's Beyond the Reach here on Blu-ray. Uh, next is another movie that I remember coming out, but I just I didn't get a chance to get it or watch it, and that is... Uh, Bone Tomahawk here with Kurt Russell. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, I like rest Western movies, uh, and I like Kurt Russell, so definitely looking forward to checking this one out. But that's Bone Tomahawk here on Blu-ray. Um, next, um, I picked up a John Wayne movie. I actually found one at the pawn shop. Um, so, in my, you know, my granddad's a huge John Wayne fan. My dad grew up on John Wayne movies, and I watched a couple of them, just not nearly enough. Uh, but this one is The War Rag Wagon um, on Blu-ray. Uh, my dad says he, he, this is a good one. So, yeah, um, I'm glad I picked it up. Um, I like John Wayne movies. I know some people don't, but I really do. I like them. Um, so, yeah, but that's The War Wagon on Blu-ray. Next is another classic, or you might say it's a classic that I've never watched, but I'm also not a huge Tom Cruise fan. Uh, but I did pick it up, and I'm going to watch it and give it a chance, and that is a Risky Business um, here on Blu-ray. You know, people say it's really good. Um, same with uh, Still My no Magnolia. Um, also, the um, Pawn Shop Had Cocktails. Never heard of that movie, so let me know if, that, if I need to go back and pick that one up down in the comments. Uh, Cause yeah, I don't. I've never heard of cocktails, but heard have heard of risky business. So I picked this one up. I am gonna get around to checking this one out. But that's risky business here on Blu-ray. Um, getting down to the last few. Um, but 
Next, we have uh, K-19, The Widowmaker with Harrison Ford and Liam Neeson. Um, never heard of this movie, but I love Harrison Ford, and Liam Neeson, I think, is a really good actor um, in certain things. Uh, I like the majority of the movies that he does, so... Yeah, uh, definitely pick this one up for $1.50. Hopefully it's good, uh, but that's K-19. Next is the other John Wayne movie that I picked up, and that is uh, The Searchers. Um, I want to say this is one of his first uh, movies that he ever did. I want to say I might be wrong. Let me know down in the comments if y'all know. But, yeah, that's The Searchers here on, John Wayne, uh, on Blu-ray. And I think it might have been filmed in black and white. I'd have to put the disc in and find out. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I picked that one up. Uh, next, we have uh, Detroit Rock City um, on Blu-ray. My brother recommended this to me. Um, I've never seen it. I never even heard of it until he showed it to me and, you know, recommended it to me. So, yeah, uh, Detroit Rock City. Hopefully it's good. Um, I have no clue. I'm going into the, a lot of these blind. But, yeah, picked it up for $1.50, though. Detroit Rock City here on Blu-ray. Um... Got one, two, three, four, five, six more. Uh, next up, we have a movie called Poseidon. Never heard of this movie, uh, but it's done by the director of The Perfect Storm, and it has Kurt Russell and a handful of other really decent, well-known actors. Um, so, yeah. Well, it's done by the director of The Perfect Storm and Choi. So, yeah, had to pick this one up. I'm going to get a chance to watch it, and I'll... Maybe talk about it in a live stream and let y'all know what I thought of it. But if y'all have heard of this one, let me know what y'all thought of it. Um, but I don't think a lot of people ever knew what this movie was. But that's Poseidon here on Blu-ray. Uh, next is a movie that I've never heard of. But, you know, I wish I had a, a long time ago so I would have watched it. And that's a Ron Howard film. And that is uh, Backdraft here with Kurt Russell and a handful of other great actors. And, yeah, Backdraft here on Blu-ray. I've never, I'd never heard of this movie. I don't think I might have a long time ago, maybe, but I don't remember hearing of it. But yeah, I uh, had to pick this one up when I saw it because a Ron Howard film, and then this cast just sold me on it. So yeah, backdrop here on Blu ray, had to pick it up. Um, next up, we have a Mel Gibson movie, and that is Edge of Darkness, uh, another one that I've never heard of, but I looked at reviews of it. I like Mel Gibson. Um, some Mel Gibson movies. Majority of the ones that I've seen them in, I really do like them in. Um, and I looked at reviews and people said this one was really, really well done and really good. So, yeah, picked it up. I'm going to get a chance to watch it. And, yeah, that's The Edge of Darkness here on Blu-ray. Um, so, I think I know what I'm going to do with those digital copies. Um, but, next up is a Clint Eastwood movie that I thought... I had never heard of either, um, but it has Amy Adams, Justin Timberlake, and John Goodman in it, and that is uh, Trouble with a Curve, with the Curve, um, another sports film that I've never seen, um, but I love Clint Eastwood, I, lo I love the cast, and Clint Eastwood, I want to say, wrote and directed it, so, um, let's see, directed by, no, he did not direct it, he produced it, but he did not direct it. Okay, uh, but yeah, Trouble with the Curve here on Blu-ray. Um, hopefully it's good. People say it's really fucking good, so yeah, definitely going to be watching this one here soon. Uh, next up, another movie that people really love that I've never seen, uh, surprisingly, and that is uh, Drive with Ryan Gosling. Um, I'm a, I love Ryan Gosling. Uh, everything that I've seen him in, I love him in. Um, but yeah, I just, I've never watched this one. Um I think I started it and I had to go do something. I just never got a chance to revisit it. But now I own it and I'm going to watch it. Um, and I know they're going to probably upgrade this one to 4K eventually. So it's a good chance to watch it, see if I really do like it. And then I'll upgrade it if I do. Um, but yeah, that's Drive here on Blu-ray. And the last one that I picked up is a movie that I never, I've never seen. Um, but it has Sylvester Stallone and Robert De Niro, which is the main reason I picked up Robert De Niro. And that is uh, Copland. Um, never heard of this movie. Hopefully it's good. Uh, the review said it was really, it was decent at least. So for a dollar fifty, I thought I'd pick it up. But yeah, that's Copland here on Blu-ray. And that does it for all my collection for uh, the month of February in 2018. Not 2018, 2019. Uh, you know, hopefully you guys 
had a good month in picking up movies and games and stuff like that. Let me know what you guys picked up. Also, hopefully you guys, you know, redeem these and enjoy them. Uh, I'm not going to throw them away until I know that they're redeemed. Uh, and as for the Game of Thrones um, season giveaways, this is what I'm going to do. Because there's two seasons of Game of Thrones, I'm not going to give them away in the video. Um, what I'm going to do is um, click over to my Instagram and follow me and then message me. Um, and then I will send you um, the code to the season. I'll take a picture of it and send it. Um, and you can pick whichever one you want for the fourth or fifth season of Game of Thrones. And yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. So... You have to go to Instagram, follow me on Instagram, and then message me. And, yeah. But, that's how you'll get the codes to Game of Thrones, and you'll get a chance to watch Game of Thrones if you haven't seen it. Um, but anyways, guys, um, let me know what all, you, what all you picked up. Uh, hopefully, you guys will come over to my Instagram to get the Game of Thrones seasons. Um, but, yeah. Um, let me know if you agree with all my thoughts and opinions on the movies. Do you think I wasted my money on some of the movies? Do you think I didn't? Uh, let me know about the Pawn Shop movies. Are they all good? Are they some of them shitty? Uh, I want to know all that. Did I waste my money? Um, also, what did you guys pick up? Uh, are you going to come and watch my Far Cry New Dawn uh, live stream now that you know that I got it? Um, a lot of stuff like that. Also, what games are you most excited for? What movies are you going to pick up in March? Uh, which ones did you wait? Uh, have to pass on in February? And you're going to try to make up. Uh, like, I passed on Widows and uh, Mary Queen of Scots. I didn't have, really, the extra cash to go and get those two. Um, but, yeah, those are two of the ones that I did pass on that I am going to go back, have to go back and pick up. But, yeah, um... And um, in the description, I have links to my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook page. You can click on there for updates on personal life, things I'm working on, things I'm thinking about doing. Uh, when I go live on YouTube, I post something over on Instagram on my story to let y'all know that I go live. Um, also, I'll go live on Instagram while I'm watching movies, something like that, and like do reactions and stuff like that and talk to you guys. So you can follow, click, click, follow me over there to um, just see everything that I post over there. And, you know, if you want to get the Game of Thrones season, you need to go follow me on Instagram and then message me. Preferably, follow me on all the social media and then message me, but mainly Instagram. Um, but, yeah, guys, uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button because you really help me out. Also, share with your friends, family, friends, family, everyone that you know, any people that you don't know. And hit that subscribe button for more awesome content like this. And uh, hit the little bell icon to be notified when I upload. And I will see you guys in March. And hopefully you guys will watch my March 2019 collection update because... March is going to be a good month for movies and games. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.